What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get the zero fall damage boots in Dying Light 2. Let's get right to it. So first off, you do wanna be at the Fisheye Canteen in order to get this. It's actually gonna be right inside of here, inside the little safe house that's here. You can kind of see them right here. But the requirements to get it, um, I've heard different things. The only way I got it was after I completed the Space Chicken mission, which uh, will give you the frying pan. I'll have that linked in the description below if you wanna check that out. Um, I've heard people saying that if you complete the book club quest, it'll give it to you. Um, I did the book club quest on a different save file where I didn't finish the game and I still don't have it. So I'm not 100% sure, but for me, it, it happened right after I finished the space chicken mission. It showed up here, which, um, yeah, it's just sitting right here. These do respawn so you can get them back if you want to. And let's go ahead and equip them so I can show you kind of what is so awesome about them. So right here. First of all, they're flip flops because I mean, you know, why not? Flip flops are always great. And you're actually wearing socks with flip flops, which you know what you do, you man. But this is what they look like. They don't really seem to do anything They They give you one gear armor. It's, you know, not very good. It doesn't seem like there's any benefits, but let me show you when you have them on, you can actually automatically roll. So let me bam, automatic roll. I'm not pushing any buttons automatic rolling it's absolutely amazing um i actually want to test the height you can drop from on this so let me go up somewhere high and jump from there and see how far i can fall before it actually kills me so let's test that real quick so right here test number one we're right next to the windmill at the fisheye canteen i'm just gonna jump off to the ground below and see if i die Woohoo! here we go do i die or do i roll i die so that's too high <laughs> I think what it basically does is it automatically activates your active roll, um, even if you don't have active roll. So it has to be within the distance that active roll actually happens. So you, it's not from any height, but it's from most heights. So you can do like this, just like this, and then you can keep going without even having to worry about timing the active roll to get it right if you're having trouble with timing it. That's kind of, it's really cool. Um, really, it's mainly useful for people who are uh having trouble with the active roll timing but uh yeah that's that's what happens with the flip-flops if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dying light content make sure to like and subscribe you can also check out some of my other videos like the one youtube recommends right over there and if you want to help support this channel you can check out the support links in the description below thanks for watching